What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today we got this uh, Toyota Camry. If you have a Toyota Camry, it doesn't matter what year. This is uh, 2013, if you have 2012, 13, 14, 15, even below. If you have a code P0, uh, I'm sorry, P2109, and your car does not go, this car only goes about 12, 15 mile per hour. It has no pickup. You can gun the uh, uh, gas pedal, the car just won't go. It just won't go. And uh, we have a code, we scanned it. But let's go for a test drive. You guys gonna see me test drive this. So stay tuned for part two. I did order the piece, I did diagnose it earlier. But I wanna show you exactly uh, what I did so far. Test drove it, felt it, scanned it, pulled out the codes. And the piece wasn't available, so I'm gonna have to make a part two to this. So if you have the same issue, your car doesn't wanna go more than 10, 15 mile per hour. This guy said he was on the highway, he was on uh, Garden State Parkway. He was going 60, 70 mile per hour, and all of a sudden the car lost power. Press the gas pedal, the car just went more at yeah, 10 mile per hour, 12 mile per hour. Anyways, let's take this for test drive. I'm gonna pull up the car, and then we're gonna go together. All right, guys, um, got a 2013 Toyota Camry right there. I'm about to take it for test drive, and uh, we got a code 2109. Um, it says uh, throttle slash pedal position sensor. All right, so the car has no power. We're gonna test drive it today. The car has no power. It doesn't go more than 20 mile per hour. So I'm gonna get inside the car and we're gonna test drive this car. And then uh, I'm gonna show you, I'm probably gonna make two videos of this. And let's get inside the car. All right, so we're inside the car. Start up the engine. Let me fix up the seat. I reset the light, so I thought it might just uh, work out by resetting the light, but it didn't. So let's go for a test drive. Uh, I drove it before, it wouldn't even like, bar it will barely rev. Right now, I'm driving normal, so it's normal right now. Right now I got the pedal pushed all the way down and nothing is happening. You can hear the engine. So I want to rip it here. Nothing. Pedal all the way down. Pedal all the way down and we have no power guys. This is how fast I am going. With the pedal all the way down, it's gunned. I gunned the pedal. Check that out. Gunning the pedal. And the car barely moves. So, let me tell you the problem here. I ordered the piece. I don't even wanna take a chance because I might not be able to pull fast enough to get out of the traffic here. Let me go back a little bit and wait for the traffic to die out. So I ordered a throttle body. I did clean it, it didn't work out. So I ordered another throttle body and we're gonna replace the throttle body. The problem here is the throttle body. Right now the car is barely going. Let's go back. So if you guys have this issue, follow up with my second video. I wanna, I, I took a snap of the codes on my phone. I'm gonna show you that too. I do have a picture there uh, when, when I scanned it. I did clean the throttle body, it did not work out. A lot of times you can clean the throttle body, it might fix things up, but no. So the throttle body is located all the way down there. It's not that hard to change, so I did order it. It was like almost like a $280 brand new piece. So let me park here. I'm gonna pop the hood open and show you guys where the throttle body is located. And, but let's go, I'm gonna go inside first show you the code. All right guys, so here's the codes. Hard to see, it's hard to see. It says uh, P02109, throttle position, uh, throttle, throttle slash pedal position sensor, A malfunction, stop performance. P1605, rough idle. P1604, start ability malfunction. P1603, engine stall history. And then there's a catalytic converter code. If you ignore it, because that code's been there for a long time, told the customer to fix it, but that's not the issue, okay? so let's go underneath the hood so the throttle body if you follow up it's all the way down there throttle body is all the way down there 
connected to this fat pipe here. It's connected to this. So it has to probably got coolant pipes connected to it. I'm gonna replace this, and then we're gonna go to the test drive together, but I'm waiting on the throttle body. It's gonna take about three days for me to receive a new piece. So the car's gonna sit out here. I'm gonna fix it for you guys, okay? Don't worry about it. We're gonna test drive it once everything is done. And uh, stay tuned, watch my part two, and don't hesitate to do this repair yourself, okay? I test drove it right in front of you, and uh, that's it. So let's wait for the new piece.